Hi everyone, this video is for women who work in male-dominated industries and they love their nine to fives, but they want to start a business on the side. I get this question a lot because over three years ago, I left my traditional job to start the company that I run today. So what I want to do in this video is just answer a couple of quick questions that come up often in hopes that it can help many women who are considering starting a business while they're working their nine to five. And this is just from my personal experience, okay? First things first, you want to make sure there are no conflicts of interest with your main employer. So what that means is you don't want to be offering or selling a product or service that is in competition or could appear as competition to your employer. So that should be pretty easy for you to figure out. If you have any questions about it, just ask folks around you or, you know, refer to your employee manual because oftentimes they'll spell it out. The next thing is you need to have a plan. So everyone talks about following your passion and I'm all about following the passion because it just gives you extra uh, motivation, enthusiasm, and that adrenaline really can push you to get things done. But passion alone doesn't make a business successful. So with that, write out a plan. Your plan does not have to be perfect starting off, okay? I'm gonna repeat that. It does not need to be perfect for you to start, but you do need to have a plan written down, whether it's electronically or old school on paper like me. I put all of my ideas in a notebook, and I keep notebooks with me all the time. So make sure you write it down. Now the second thing is figure out what you need to get started and don't let what you don't have stop you. A lot of times, some of the greatest businesses that we admire today, the ones that we know the brand by a color or a logo or something like that, it started because they didn't have a lot of resources. So they had to be nimble and think outside of the box and create something really unique. Nobody remembers the same old, same old stuff. We only remember the things that set us uh, set apart from the other. So don't worry about having... Don't worry about having all of the bells and whistles that everyone else has. Use what you have and take that and make it your unique advantage, okay? Now, the next thing, and I think this is very important, your mindset is key. There's a book that I really want everyone to read if you're considering starting a business. It's called Mindset by Carol Dweck, and her last name is spelled D-W-E-C-K. Okay, so check that book out. It has an audio version to it. And then with that, you want to surround yourself with people who can support you. So Jim Rohn says, you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Think about that. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. So think about who you're spending your time with as you're considering starting a new chapter in your life, starting a business, and working a nine to five. Now, there's lots more from that, but these are just some things to consider right out of the gate. And so I'm gonna give you a bonus one, okay? Now, you gotta look at yourself and say, am I disciplined? Do I have self-discipline? And with my self-discipline, am I a procrastinator? Am I someone who pushes things off? Or am I a person who learns how to take consistent action and get things done? So only you can answer that question truthfully, but you got to be able to move past procrastination, move past the personal excuses that we can all give ourselves to really take consistent action and get things done. So share this video with a woman you know who works in a male-dominated industry that may be considering starting a business in addition to her 9 to 5. My name is Jacqueline Swilly. Until next time, keep emulating excellence and eliminating excuses.